Hello, welcome back to Shalise Bakes Cakes. I'm so glad you're here in my kitchen with me today because it's gonna be such a fun day. You guys are just gonna follow along and I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to make the most adorable candy corn unicorn cake. So first of all, obviously to make our cake, I've already iced our cake, um, it's already ready to go. We also need our unicorn horn, which this guy is my favorite. I mean, it's just so cute. I, I love it so much. Um, so to make our unicorn horn, you need fondant and we need to make it a few days early so that it can harden up so we can stick it in our cake and it will stand up. I made this, I think, four or five days ago and it seems to be really good. So just make sure if you're gonna make a unicorn or anything, you gotta make your fondant earlier. Let's see, to make this guy, I just dyed some fondant yellow and orange and then obviously white. I rolled them and I just twisted them up and we made our horn. And then I just stuck our little stick right through it so that we can stick it in our cake in just a few minutes. Okay, we also need ears. And I just used the same fondant colors that were left over from the unicorn horn to make our ears. You also, like I said, need to make these earlier so that they can stand up on our cake. And then I made some eyes just out of black fondant. Also made them early so they're all ready to be put on our cake. What else do we need to make? We are gonna be dyeing our buttercream yellow and orange. And I have yellow and orange color right, Wilton. It's our food coloring. This is the best kind of food coloring, I think. Yes, if you're gonna be dyeing your buttercream, you need, you need good food coloring because the um, you know, the other stuff, it's good, but Wilton and Americolor, those are the kind you need to do your buttercream to have vibrant, bold colors. And that's what we want today. So we also have our sprinkles, and you know that, you know, you've watched my videos. I love sprinkles, so I've got my candy corn sprinkles today. We've also got our candy corns, our mini ones. What else do we need? We need our piping bags. I've got them ready to go with our 1M tip. I know, 1M, you guys hear that a lot from me, but we do need 1M tips today because we're gonna be making rosettes on our cake, and 1M tip are the best for our rosettes. I also have the 4B tip, and that's gonna help us finish off our so, you guys, I'm so excited you're here. We're gonna have so much fun making this candy corn unicorn cake, so follow along, and I hope you guys have fun. Let's get started. Okay, so we're just gonna start with our yellow buttercream, and we are just gonna start piping some rosettes onto our cake. To start making our unicorn. So usually when I'm making a unicorn, I will start in the middle, somewhere kind of right in the middle, so that, you know, it will be kind of a guide for you to be where you're going. As you're making it, there's no right or wrong way. Just make those rosettes. and I was putting the horn in. So I just wanted to tell you guys, I just pulled it out so I could show you. Don't usually do this, don't pull it out after you've made it. But you really just find the middle part of your cake where you guys think is the best and you just really just push it, super simple. Push it in as far as the ears go, just same thing. After you get the horn in, you can kind of tell where is a good spot and put the other one just right adjacent from it. So sorry that did not record. Also with the eyes, just put them, this is kind of your guide right here these rosettes and you kind of just put the eyes in the middle right there. So hopefully that helps. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did watching our super fun candy corn unicorn cake come to life today. Say that three times fast. <laughs> um, thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't, I really wish that you would because here at Shirley's Baked Cakes, we've got a lot more fun coming because Halloween may be almost over, but I've got lots of fun ideas and fun things happening for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So make sure to subscribe and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. 